from the trucks. I think everybody knows how to remove a, a wheel out of the truck. Oh, sorry, somebody's calling me. All right, guys. Welcome to Metro Lab, episode one. Let's talk about Superfly. And let's talk about the new Avex Golden versions of Metro Board Bearings. And look at this, you want speed? We have the biggest pulley ever that you can install in any Metro Board. 20T pulley versus the 18T. Look how small it is compared to this, next to this. Wow, it's massive. So basically, you might get up to 32, depending on your weight, miles per hour. From 24 stock, you add the 107 Superfly, you might get 27, 28, plus the pulley, you get up to 32. Also, just to disclaim, when you go faster, for any circumstance that you hack, this is a hack. All right, guys, I'm back. Somehow my battery just like, I forgot to charge my batteries on the camera, so I just shut down in the middle of the dialer. So I think I stopped when I was saying that whenever you switch the pulley, you're gonna lose braking and you will lose acceleration because you're increasing the gears teeth. This is 20T compared to the 18 stock. You can ask 19, but we recommend 18 so you don't overload the, the motor. So whenever you do Z hack, we just claim that you might avoid the warranty. I doing this because it's an experiment. I know how to leave it for long, long term, but look how big it is compared to the stock. This is 20, this is 18. They probably you get up to 23, 24 max, depends on your weight, miles per hour. This one should give you at least three more miles. So, I said before, this is under your own wrist. So, if you wanna do this, you might lose acceleration and you might lose braking. So be careful and always wear your gears protection, okay? Be protected, wear your helmet, glove, knee pads, anything you want. All right, just to be safe. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, I uh, will show you how to replace the small pulley. You basically need a a puller remover. I think that's the right they call it. the puller remover you just basically is you gotta unscrew this and then this thing should sit on top of the, the pulley like this so all right so when you see it's like this you just basically have to pull you gotta screw it until you see it gets all the way to the top like so okay once it's there remember you have three to four tiny screws that you gotta take out with the allen key don't forget about that you have to have multiple allen keys okay let's do this let me bring my other tools and let's start digging this all right to start removing the Small screw. I think you need a 332. And remove the screw here. I don't think it's 332. It should be yeah, it's 332. But I was getting the one that is not 332. 332. Isn't there? It's kind of tight. 
damn man. It's hard to take it off. Alright, let's apply a little bit more force. And it came out. Nice. So 332 for the one on top. So we take out that little monster that gave me such a trouble. It's because we put a lot of Loctite. This is the red one, which is the permanent. You gotta buy that one. So, get out. Since it's got into my. Okay. So, after that, take it out. We can put it here if you forget. So, you don't forget where it is. You can, you know, put it on top of the motor cap. So, we can use this one too as well. This one was a little bit looser. It probably doesn't have that much pressure like the other one. And then Out, stick to my then screw back so this is how you remove the screw when it gets stuck into the allen key you just screw a little bit back give a little wiggle 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 and then it should come out when it come out just take it off one more time so nice so and then let's see there's no more on top of pulley now we gotta take the security ring this is a security ring, this tiny, tiny one. Um, I think no, you don't need to take the security ring. I think two screws are good to go. Um, let me make sure. Come back. Alright, I gotta find out guys. The best way to remove the pulley in case it's very glue like this one. Don't, don't uh, grab it from the top because this is gonna happen. You're gonna you know tear apart the pulley so you just try to do it all the way on the bottom where this is the stronger part it is and then pull it out because I broke the pulley over here so it's useless actually so so be aware of this so try to do it from here not from the top okay learn from my mistake also everything that I'm doing now is paid by Metroboard. Thanks for Elen, which is the CEO and founder of the Metroboard. And he sent me all this, so thanks for him. So otherwise I cannot do any more videos. Also the tool was provided by the Metroboard company. And so far I like it a lot. Very powerful board. I think that's one of the most powerful board out there. Uh, it, um, production why not DIY this is by a company that produces it this is one of the most stronger uh, uh, skateboard that I ever ride before and then also you don't eat, eat you forget to subscribe don't forget just hit the button here subscribe is free I don't do video for a living I had a regular job like everybody else but once in a while when I have time I usually do this kind of DIY videos or tutorial videos or sometimes I show you my experience where I'm um, in new places alright continue to this let's continue okay good to go so let me show you the stock versus the the one we're gonna switch this is a 18T versus a 20T so once again Sure you clean the area it's actually very clean to be honest and then you see this flat part of the motor so you're basically going to see one of the screw there all the way there all right when you feel all the way there like not all the way on the bottom or just a little bit up and then you pull back the screw like so and then you will see here and so you gotta lift it just like millimeter so it doesn't touch the, the motor ring which is a um, hole the little axis to the motor so once in there don't forget you have to put Loctite the red one um, let me show you what I'm talking about okay. this is the red Loctite you need to get the red one but this is the blue one that's I only had the blue one today but the blue one is supposed to do a very good job because it's like semi-permanent so 
once in there that's it you're good to go and then you just need to install it on the motor all right so as I said before I remove the the wheel and the belt so once this is removed just put it on the side and you have to get a tool not remove it like this it could be any and the side it would be a 516 you have two screws that is holding the motor in place with the motor mount so Um, looking at the package that Elon sent me, he sent me the one with the Allen key, um, Allen key nut versus the regular standard executor nut. So whichever is fine, I, I, I would stick with the, this one since I don't remove my motor every day. So once it's removed, you can take it off out of the base. Uh, I will explain you why we only use up to 20. Is because you see this is the maximum amount or like the you know that can go through the motor mounts bigger than this we can put 21 22 but you're not gonna be able to you know go through this okay so to remove this I'll show you in the previous video I mean in previous uh, yeah big liquidity video that I shot and this remove this and switch with this right all right i changed the first pulley and what's my remote so we can test it out i already tensioned the belt remember you gotta do that new tension to the belt good all right let's do the other one since the dual come with two drive all right let's do the other one 